Aloha, it's Chef Keone, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make steamed Chinese style fish. It's similar to what you'd order at your local favorite Chinese restaurant, but made right at home. It's a real showstopper at all my family gatherings, and I love how simple it is to make. Let's get started. For this recipe, you're going to need a large wok and a metal steaming rack or bamboo steamer. So I have my wok ready to go. I've already added water in here just to the bottom layer of my steamer. And so the plate's gonna go in here, it's all looking good. If you don't have a wok, don't let that stop you. You can do something like take a pan, just like this, put your water in the bottom, put your steamer in here. And even if it's, you don't even have a steamer, you can find like a dish, something that's oven proof, put it there just so it's elevated above the water and then your steaming plate goes on top of that, and then you just go ahead and cover it when it's steaming. So there's, there's many ways you can get this to happen. Don't feel like you have to have to have the wok. Next, we'll place one pound of fresh fillets about one half inch thick on a heat proof dish that fits comfortably inside the steamer. And this plate is gonna be my serving plate too, so I am thinking about how it's gonna look when I serve this as well. Put that in the middle. Today I'm using mahi-mahi, but shutome, opa, or any other type of white flesh fish would be delicious in this recipe. Next, sprinkle two to three cloves of minced garlic and about half a thumb-sized piece of ginger, which I peeled and finely julienned on top of the fish. Half a handful of finely sliced green onions, and then we have dry sherry that we're gonna use. Now, I put dry sherry in the recipe, but this is to replace Shaoxing wine that you would typically use if you were gonna do like authentic but that can be hard to get, right? And this is a good substitute. Put a little bit of drizzle of shoyu on top, and then we're ready to go into the steamer. So this is prepped and ready to go. I got my steamer steaming. We're gonna put this on carefully. And then about six to eight minutes, we'll be ready to go. Before I finish steaming this Chinese style fish, I want to mention you can find ingredients to make this dish at your local food dance store. And to get this and more local style recipes, visit us at foodland.com. The cook time depends on the size of your fish. Now it's time to check our fish. To make sure it's done, gently take a fork to the fish fillets. I'll push into it, and yeah, it's, just, it's going right in really nicely. If it's pushing back, that means the, the flesh in the side hasn't cooked through. But it's nice, and, it's nice and tender going in, coming out, looks great. And so we're ready to go. The ginger has been cooking and the onions have been cooking that's already on here. We wanna bring some new freshness to this. So we're gonna add a little bit more fresh ginger on here. And again, like I have a recipe, but this is one of those items you can go to taste or to preference, okay? Then we're gonna add more green onions to this. And I have some of the, the nice finely ones that I had cut before to give it more freshness again. Then in a small saucepan, heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil until it starts to smoke slightly. I want it to be very hot, and so you see how it's nicely smoking here. And now what it's gonna do is, it's gonna sizzle on the fresh ginger and the scallions or green onions, and it's gonna sear that and bring all of those essential oils out of the, the, the two items we put on there, and it's gonna just really bring this to life, so. And then I'm gonna finish this with a little bit of shoyu, a little bit fresh shoyu here. And then we have sesame oil that I'm gonna put a little bit on for flavor, just a little bit. Now remember, all of that juice from the fish, sherry, all of the flavor is also in some of the steaming liquid that's on the base here. And that is also what becomes the sauce that you're gonna put on your rice, okay? So now, God, it smells so good. We're gonna garnish cilantro, Chinese parsley. So we'll put some on here and I think it just kind of like rounds out the dish and makes it feel very, very authentic and legitimate. And God, the smell's coming out, it's amazing. And here we have our Chinese style steamed fish. So steamed fresh rice, enjoy.